Okay, this is Judy from Los Angeles, live uh, with our best, uh, Timothy uh, Kitui, one of the best uh, gospel singers in the whole world. Honestly, this guy just amazes me at how much talent he has, and I am so proud to introduce him to uh, celebrating our Luya culture as well as the world because this is a pastor, also a great musician who actually does his work through ministry and most of his uh, ministry is through praise. And also he has a church in Nairobi. Welcome to ATLE TV. Um, can you introduce yourself? Hello, everyone. Praise the Lord. Hello, America. Hello, Africa. Hello, Asia. Hello, China. And everywhere and from all over the world where you could be uh, getting us from. My name is Pastor Timothy Kitui, or Dr. Kitui Timothy. Uh, I am a pastor at JCC Thicker here in Kenya. I'm a gospel minister, just like my beautiful sister has mentioned right there. I do sing uh, gospel music. Uh, predominantly in Luya, by choice, by right, by calling, and by birth. Uh, married to one female wife, and together we are blessed with three children. Uh, by the grace of God, we are, are growing and aging gracefully. Um, this is my, uh, this is, uh, I began singing in the year 2001. Uh, it had to take me 14 years uh, before the world. Uh, rather the region would uh, begin listening to me. So I do my music predominantly in Luya by this instrument. Uh, we, uh, it's called Litungu uh, from where I come from. So I do Litungu, Isukuti, Ngada, Siriri. Yes, that is my style of music. And like I mentioned, it's by choice and by birth. Uh, my lead motivation to do this style of music uh, in my ministry uh, was because one, uh, my upbringing. Uh, I hail from a very humble background. If today I'm a doctor of philosophy, it's purely by the grace of God. Otherwise, otherwise I grew up in a very humble background, uh, in a very humble part of the country. We were victims of uh, political clashes and skirmishes before any media house would report or any government or international organization would later call us IDPs. We were IDPs that no one spoke about. Uh, but amidst all those challenges and everything, uh, because of those challenges, I was ushered into early parenting. I was a father to my siblings. Uh, my parents are still alive, uh, but because of the challenges that are reminiscent of our roots, uh, anybody that has uh, grown up in this part of Africa, especially in Western Luya land, if you are a firstborn son, you are automatically a deputy parent. So when your parents are not there or your parents are not ready or able, you wear their shoe. So uh, I went to Nabunga Salvation Army Harambe Secondary School. I know you may not have heard of that name, but thank God you listen to Litungu, so today you will hear the name. Uh, Nabunga Salvation Army Harambe Secondary School, we did not afford to have teachers, who would teach us how to play brass instruments, the flutes, trombone, and violin, and piano. So I played this instrument. And with this instrument, uh, I was able to export uh, our culture, at least to Nairobi. I came, the first time I came to Nairobi was to play Siriri at KICC National. And wow. by the God, I had, uh, it was a motivation to me to know that at least there is something I can do and the country will recognize. So I chose to do this music. I've done music in English, Swahili. Uh, I've even sung Kihindi, Lingala, and all that, but I never got anywhere. So when I did my first song, Dahuyanza Omwami, then all media houses were like, yes, now we found someone from Lueland who is giving us what we've been looking for. So I did another one. The first song, Dahuyanza, went ahead to win the Safaricom Groove Awards 2015. Then 2016, Groove Awards again, 
I got a nomination in Johannesburg, South Africa. I boarded a plane for the first time in my life, Mutoto Atolika, uh, who grew up, who wore his first shoe going to Form 1, had opportunity to board a plane. So I boarded a plane to Johannesburg. I didn't know how to connect flight, so you can understand how I look with my tongue in my hands. Uh, but I thank God it was a good experience. I was, I was humbled uh, to see how South Africans received Luya music. It was amazing. I was so encouraged to see how I was received. I was picked at the airport. I know you guys that have traveled all over the world may take this, uh, but to me, uh, who had known uh, uh, Mbukinya Poa or Musamaria uh, to be the finest bus to the city, uh, it was quite an opportunity. So when later the world opened up to my music and to my ministry, I travel everywhere with Litungu. I do Litungu gospel vibes, proudly so. I love my Litungu and this is who I am. Uh, with all the English that I know and the Swahili that I know, French that I know, I still choose Luya uh, because uh, this is, it represents the true me. Uh, with this, I'm able to share something about us that I feel the world also needs to know and just to invite people to worship, uh, to see how Americans can worship God when a Luya song is playing and see how Germans and the French can worship God when a Luya song is playing. I feel I've contributed to the world. Totally, totally. I was, I am a most, actually, I am your number one fan because guess wow. what? When that, wow. when, when uh, the first time I had the Benizi Nguru, I was so touched. You have no idea. You blessed me so much and you blessed so many other people. And that is just one of the songs that I know you blessed other people with. And, yes. um, and, and can you give us some more examples of the other songs? What is, what is the motivation? How do you sit down and then you decide, oh my God, this is the song. Do you write your songs yourself? There's somebody writing the songs for you, all those kind of things. I think a lot of us wanna know just the background of how it goes. Uh, well, uh, straight uh, to the uh, key question. Uh, my motivation is, is just worshiping God. And that is why most of my songs are addressed to God. So I sing with God as my key audience. So I, I will sing Jingula, Uiwe, Luanda Niwe, Yesu, Hobira Bios Niwe, Beni Zinguru, everything I address it to God. And uh, it's part of my worship. So when I'm singing, in most cases, I'm just worshiping God. And that partly responds to the inquiry who writes my songs. I write all my songs. I've gotten a few friends to write songs for me, but sometimes I try singing them. A few people feel I'm singing well, but I don't see them representing me. So I choose to write my songs. Uh, some of the things that I do are things that I used to do from childhood. So. I pick on a chant that I, like the song you just mentioned right there, uh, Minage, this is a song that I, uh, the, 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 the chant is part of what we used to, to do. I learned this from, from uh, my grandmother from, my Mar from Maragoli land, who became yes. almost like our parents when our parents were not really there. Uh, she, she's called Dana, Dana Minaya. Now, That's Dana like my name. <laughs> <laughs> Dana Minayo's grandchildren would come. And in the night, we would sing about Kanganga uh, Kahena Mino. So we'd sing Daziam Kidahoni, Nyora Dura, Dura Mazi, you know, those Ubaka and Uba, Mwai Mwene, Nandeva, Ubamira Kituri Twangi. I don't know if I'm making sense for the rest of the world. So uh, we would sing those chants. So when I found myself in church, I began realizing a relationship between African stories and folk tales and some of the Bible stories. I yeah. realized that the story of Moses in the Bible, it relates with a story my grandmother used to tell us, uh, only yeah. that the Moses of our Luya land helped cows to cross a river by stretching a staff and, and, and the river parted. So I realized that there are very many stories. I realized the Samaritan woman's story is in Luya land, only that yeah. it was not. It, it is not Samaria. I realized very many stories. Actually, I actually discovered, I read Aluya Bible. I actually discovered that 
uh, even uh, the gospel of Christ, the gospel of God, uh, salvation was here. The only foreigner in Africa was Christ. It's only Christianity. Christ, we knew yes. God. We were worshiping. Yes. The yes. laws of Moses were obeyed by the Luya child. The African child obeyed. The, the, the African child did not kill, did not steal, did not commit adultery, did not. No. Uh, like, I think we were, we had God. And so I feel like we have a contribution. And because of that, I write my songs based on my experiences, my encounter with God, and also what I, the environment made me. I mean, maybe if I had gone to the biggest schools, like my KCP results, I would have gone to a big school that had brass bands and would have concerts and galas. I wouldn't do it to me. But because I didn't have the opportunity, to go to the big school that my KCP results were saying, I only had one opportunity to go to, to Nabunga Salvation Army Harambe Secondary School. And so there I went and I had the and, and you know what? You may say that Ritunga or in Maragoli, we call it Kiriri. Yes. Those, that is actually what really makes me really get yes. excited about your music. Now, another question I wanted to ask you. I know you sing a lot of songs in Maragoli. Mm -hmm. uh, what is your, what tribe are you coming from in Luya? Uh, in Luya land, I am Tachoni. Okay. My, my father is Tachoni. My mother is Tabraski. Okay. And uh, interestingly, I've not quite done a full song in Tachoni. Uh, when I did the song Jingula, I only did one stanza in Tachoni, actually one line. Otherwise, uh, having been brought up in Luya land, where I really loved how, how the Bunyala people speak and the Soto and the Wanga, the Maragoli, the Bukustu, I, I just realized that we are very rich. So I branch out anytime, depending on how best I feel the message will come out. So like, Kalibari wa Yesu, Johanna, I find it speaking to me uh, in volumes when I do it in Luya, in, in Maragoli. Yes. But then when I, sing Vushere, I, I began Vushere like, I, I, the, chorus was in, uh, the chorus was in Kiwanga. But when I tried chanting, I realized that when I chant in Bukusu, it, it comes out better. So yes. uh, I just agree to be Luya. So depending on... And, the, and, and I think that is one of the things that is most beautiful because when you hear your songs, you hear a little bit of every Luya language coming through. You hear yes. a little bit of Maragoli come through. You hear a little mm -hmm. bit of Wanga come through. You hear a little bit of uh, um, Kisa come through and the other Luyas, Bunyore and all those. And mm -hmm. that is something that is just so beautiful and so great in unifying all of us as our uh, people of Murembe Nation. Yes, we thank God. And there is something about Luya music that resonates with the whole world. And that is achieved when we appreciate that, for example, the Maragoli will play in Gada, the Isuha will play Sukuti, the Bukusus will play Iritungu, the Wanga will play Siriri, and you just find a very interesting band. And so we are... We are blessed. Uh, we are history. totally blessed. Now, yes. doctor, um, where did you go to school? I know you have a doctorate degree. Where did you go to school? Um, mm -hmm. And what did you major in? Okay. Uh, I went to uh, very many primary schools because of the challenges of life. But I did my KCP at Cheptarich uh, Primary School, now Mungano Primary School in Kiminini, Transoya County. Then I proceeded to Nabunga Salvation Army Arambe Secondary School. Uh, from here, uh, I went to, I was supposed to join Egerton University. I couldn't because after joining, like for a few weeks, my siblings were struggling because I was the breadwinner. I came back home, stayed for five years before the church would sponsor me after I began singing to go to Masindem Liro University of Science and Technology, then Weko. So I went to Weko. If you have heard Jacob Luceno's song about Amakuru, so yes. the money our grandfathers collected those days when Amakuru came in the morning with the Matoto Imutimoni, uh, we, they were building our university. 
So I went to Masinde Mliro University. Here I studied a Bachelor of Science degree in disaster management and international diplomacy. So I'm a trained disaster manager, though I've never put up even a, a candle fire. Uh, <laughs> I went to, I, I came back, uh, I went back to Masinde Mliro uh, with the, with the, after the university really reached out and they were like, you're a bright student, blah, blah. You know, I was all over the place, university choir. So I went back to do my master, my master's degree in diplomacy, mm -hmm. international relations. So I did a master's degree in diplomacy, international relations with a few publications here and there. I had the motivation. I got an admission to Kenyatta University to do my doctorate degree in diplomacy yeah. and international relations. Masinde Buliro also gave me chance to go back. So I looked at my relationship with the professors. I went back to Masinde Buliro, did my coursework. Then later I felt like maybe I need to also just like get a uh, universal. So I heard about a uh, credit transfer to San Juan uh, University. So I applied to transfer my credits. I did my research and my thesis and all my, my publications uh, submitted to San Juan de la Cruz University. And that is where I got my PhD uh, in diplomacy and international relations. So uh, I'm a trained diplomat. Uh, all my publications are in diplomacy, international relations. Uh, I thought that would make me an ambassador and I would travel all over the world as a diplomat. Interestingly, here in the, this part of the world, to be nominated an ambassador, to be named an ambassador, to work with a high commission, well, you need a political appointment. So Ditungu gave me. So I became an ambassador for the cultural and gospel music expo. So I travel. I still travel to represent, but now I represent the kingdom and I represent Luyaland in music. Uh, I have taught at the university for some time. I taught at the university uh, for some time. Just like I, I would call myself uh, a knowledge hawker in the city, part timing here and there. I, it couldn't really make me. I registered a consultancy firm. So even up to now, I do management and training consultancies management and research, and then I just do music. So music took, or took over. Because of music, you know me. Because of music, the world listens to me uh, and ministry in church. So I'm a pastor at JCC as well. Wow, wow. Did you guys hear that? Not only is uh, Dr. Timothy Kitui talented with music, but also he is a very, very, very smart person. And that is what we have in Luyaland. Those are the kind of characteristics we have in Luyaland. But there's one thing that we lack in Luyaland, support. Mm -hmm. We <laughs> lack the support to really bring our people up so that we can ignore them or not to ignore them so that they can be that pedestal, that light in our community. So I know you have a church in, um, in Nairobi. Can you tell us where the church is? I know you have your music out there. How can people really support you? And Luyas, listen to me. This is a new chapter. And under ATLE TV, we are gonna be promoting a lot of what we are doing. And I need your help in really um, uh, coming up and let's support our the people who make us look good in our society so can you give us that information so that people can reach you yes uh i pastor a church that is jcc thika is in thika town there's jesus celebration center in thika town uh should you be around nairobi uh moranga embu uh, that is after churches reopen uh please Feel free to join us at JCC Thika. In the meantime, we only we are streaming our services live on Facebook. Uh, my music, I really would love. Like I mentioned, I did music for 14 years without any return or results whatsoever. I remember, I mean, again, before I just share my platforms, I remember my experience from 2002 to 2005, where we would sing music for the compact steps. I'm actually a millennial. Uh, we. We, we would sing music and sell in compact tapes. No one ever bought. I remember what to do. People, what were the copper to? So by the way, if you are hearing me and you took a tape on loan, please remember something. Uh, so uh, we did, uh, I, I have done music for all these years and it is 
in the recent past that we began getting something little at least from iTunes, from YouTube, and from Amazon, if you put your music there. Though not quite a lot, but just pushing because our genre of music had not really created a market. So we are like, we are forerunners, maybe for others who will also come after us. And so my music is available on YouTube. Uh, Dr. Timothy Kitu is my channel. Uh, but to buy my music, you can buy my music on Amazon. Just look for Pastor Timothy Kitui uh, on iTunes, on Apple Music, on Spotify, on Deezer, on Boomplay. Uh, just write Pastor Timothy Kitui and my music will pop up. Uh, you purchasing that music will give us a reason to go back to studio, uh, will yeah. give us a reason to believe in what we are doing. Uh, will give us a reason to feed among uh, very many of those young people you see there some of them are orphans uh, some of them were street children uh, i run an orphanage so we rehabilitate them and try to identify their talent and see how best we can support them so uh, buying an album from us or whatever support uh, you sent to us with these we are able to reach out we are able to help these young children pay school fees some of them are in college some of them are young parents uh, because of the challenges here, uh, we're just trying to use the same. Uh, that band is ex exclusively full of young people, talented, that we've picked from the villages and from the streets. Uh, so I really appreciate to see your support. Follow me on Instagram, on Twitter, on Facebook, on YouTube. Subscribe and share the music. Uh, sell the album to someone and that you can be sure. We will keep bringing more Litungu gospel vibes. We we'll keep bringing more Isukuti, more Ngada. Yes, we'll keep supplying. Wow, that's amazing. And you guys, I know you just like to like, but I think we need to go beyond just like. We need to go and really support. And if you already have the music, go ahead and give Sadaka. Uh, send Sadaka to Pastor's Mission. Uh, because without a car, if you don't fuel a car, what happens is, it actually stops running. Mm. So if he sings and we exhaust all resources, we're not gonna hear more of this wonderful music. So I'm just appealing, if all the lawyers in Luya land, for example, started by example, and just send pastor 50 shillings, or 100 shillings, um, that you, you'll be, I, I am not, I know for sure that we're gonna get some really powerful, music coming through and his songs are soulful they really touch the soul when you are having a bad day and you just need somebody to uplift you i'm not a good dancer i, I didn't grow up in pentecostal i'm more quaker so we are like silent prayer but honestly i think for the first time i got myself standing up and doing the dance and wow. I was like, wow, I guess if you have the right music, it can take you anywhere. So on those, on that aspect, can you say goodbye? And then I will let you play one of your songs as people um, just listen. And then we'll answer the questions later, but we'll be offline. Okay. Uh, thank you so much, guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, I may not know who is watching out there. But thank you for watching and listening to my story. And thank you for always supporting my music. When I get this, thank you very much, Minage, even for this platform and this opportunity. Uh, for a young boy that was born in Luya Land and didn't know what he was doing would bless someone somewhere, this is quite a message to me. And we promise to keep doing uh, what we do. With your support, you can be sure we will keep pushing. Thank you so much. And God bless you for always believing and supporting in what is made from home the lord bless you so much and so i will uh, i will i will i will i will sign out with this vibe uh minage said i do my favorite so i will do a papa uh that the lord fill me with your spirit that i may be able to win my litungu may not be as accurate because and by the way forgive me for the poor lighting uh for lesana we are we are in this part of the world uh where we manage what we have so uh, if you see a small accident like a candle collapsing, please understand. We're just trying to manage so that we come live.
bless you so much. It is night here. I would have said good night. I don't know what time it is where you are. The Lord bless you so much. Thank you. It is about one o'clock Los Angeles time. Um, uh, it's late, but share this video to as many people as you can so that we can spread the world. And this time, let's do action. Let's support the ministry. Thank you. God bless you. Thank mm -hmm. you.